We're standing today in Princess Margaret's drawing room, in fact, in Kensington Palace. And we're surrounded by an extraordinary collection, some pieces of dress which are really just so tied into the history of this nation. And it's a collection of raw wedding dresses. They date back over several hundred years, um, back to a little silver dress worn in 1816, and they come right up to dresses being worn in the 1960s by royal ladies then. Traditionally, royal brides wore gold and silver. It's heavy, it speaks of status and cost. Raw wedding dresses have always been occasions of, of public interest. As time has passed, of course, greater and greater numbers of people um, have been in a position to make that kind of sort of emotional investment, to, to take a part in that, you know, in the occasion. It's interesting going back to 1840 when Queen Victoria marries, that, that there was a tiny procession and a few thousand people could line the route and a few more could climb the trees and that was the best you could do. Coming into the 20th century, of course now we have audiences of millions. We can see that with much later dresses, the scale of them just increases extraordinary, to an extraordinary extent. They ha th those dresses have to be able to compete with that extraordinary, you know, the, the Gothic architecture of, of Westminster Abbey. And since 1960, when, when Princess Margaret, the Queen's sister, married, the television camera has been able to follow the bride up the aisle, so it also has to be a dress that can bear that scrutiny in detail. Looking at the collection of royal wedding dresses here, you can see that each of them has in fact become a really interesting sort of document for its time. Yes, it can be a day, but very often you will find that it becomes a sort of snapshot of what this country was like at that moment. You will find that the care and thought that go behind these dresses means that you actually see what was important to people. It gives you a, an insight into the taste of the, the, the royal bride concerned, but also perhaps the priorities um, of the nation at the time as to w what this occasion had to represent. I think Catherine will be, have been very thoughtful about making her dress. It is impossible to predict what it is going to be, um, but what one can be absolutely sure about is that it will be a dress that will be something wonderful and it will say a lot about Britain in 2011.